Today we're here right now with Joe from Laceration Laws. Joe's gonna take us through the steps, how to make a daisy chain using the tuna snack, which is right here. And on that daisy chain, we're gonna have three widgets, which are these laws right here. So Joe's gonna show us all the steps, what to do. We already have the tuna snack on, and everything's crimped. And Joe, you shrink wrap the hooks, which is nice too. Is that electrical tape you put on uh, there? Electrical tape. Electrical tape? Keeps it stiffer so you get a better hookup. Nice. This is going to be your main lure that's in the wash working. And that's the one, obviously, that the big guy's going to come up and chew on. And the widgets are basically, they're going to be on the surface, skipping across, skipping across. And this one's going to trail a little bit. Being that's a little bit heavier, this is going to be down in the water holding. So on each bead you're putting on. So right now you have basically 300 pound Genkai line we're using. Let me get that one from you. Sure. So the way, you, I, go ahead, oh, I'm sorry. the way I like to do it is I like to set the distance first. Okay. So you have three of those. And then go ahead and slide everyone down. As you can see, we have bead crimp, widget, bead crimp, widget, all the way down. Gotcha. So we'll come back. We take a small, small little piece of shave tubing. Oh, gotta get the right sleeve. And we come back and we finish off the top. Okay. Okay, so you pre-made the whole lure, and now you're going to size up where each one's yeah, going to be placed. Exactly. The widgets. I'll, I'll actually show you a little trick to do that. Okay. So you go back and crimp. Don't squeeze too hard. Don't go all the way to the ends. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to pinch the line, right? Yep. Trim off your tag line a little bit if you got one. Now you come back. You come all the way to the top of the first one. Bring it up, leave a few inches. And one thing you want to do that a lot of people miss out on is you, if you're using double sleeves, you really want to fill in the other side. Okay, so basically the same size monofilament. Yeah. Just, just a little tag clip piece. Clip a little piece off. Yep. And what that does, you do a soft crimp. You don't want to crimp it too hard. Right. Just give it a little bit of a squeeze just so it stays in place. And that'll prevent the widgets from sliding. Yep, and it'll keep the line from messing up. Now, the easiest way to get them the same distance is grab both these crimps now and take the one you already slid down earlier and bring it all the way to the bottom of your loop. Okay. Now they're gonna all be the same distance apart. So you go back and just do the same thing again. That's pretty interesting. And you crimp it. And you cut the tag off. And now you have a tuna chain. Look, if we can find the end. Yep, so now you have a tuna chain. And that's it, that's your tuna daisy chain yep. right there. Now when you're trolling these laws, what speed do you figure you're going around? Um, they'll perform well anywhere from five up to about nine knots. Nine knots. So, you know, if you want to troll a little bit faster, I'd say nine knots would be safe. Most tuna guys like to go a little bit slower. Sure. And what so. about like, this would be on the outrigger, you want to keep this in the wash. What do you think is the best placement for the uh, daisy chains? Anywhere. They they work well on the wash, um, on the outriggers, and especially on the long lines. Gotcha. On the way, way back lines. Now, would you put this in like behind a bird or anything like that, or no? Nah? It doesn't need the bird with the widgets, but if you're just pulling this by itself, right. you can throw it behind a bird, it'll be sure. just as effective. So. Awesome. And other lures that you make here, I mean, you have a wide assortment of lures. We have teasers for marlin. Yep, hair lures. You have hair Bally lures, Bally, yep, hindrags and everything like that. Yep. So and now, we, if anybody wants your lures, you just go online to find anything? Or um, how's it working? Yeah, check out Tournament Cable, um, Tackle Direct. Tackle Direct, so your lures, okay. Yep. We were just speaking to the guys at Tackle Direct. Yep, and a lot of the good guys, uh, just the smaller tackle shops up yep. and down the coast. And every one of these lures you make is all handmade by you, right? Yep, every That's single incredible. one of them right now. We get a little help on the skirts and everything, but yeah. I make all the heads. But the heads, yeah, the most yep. important part is the head. Yeah, that's the most labor. That's beautiful, and it's crystal clear. You really do a beautiful job on the lures. Really nice stuff it. you have, Joe. Excellent, Joe. Hey, thank you for talking to me, and thank you for showing me how to rig it. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate everything. Thank you so much.